Welcome back to the RipeWave Audio community, where we explore together all types of home audio systems from hi-fi to home theater. My name is John, and for this video, we will discuss the recently disclosed Nuvatan HDMI 2.1 chipset bug that impacts 8K capable receivers. While this issue may be disappointing in the short term for some, it should not be cause for alarm given the narrow scope, available workaround, and anticipated long-term fixes. Nuviton. Who is Nuviton? Nuviton Corporation was founded in 2008, but this bug has its history with Panasonic. In 1952, Matsusita Corporation Corp was founded as a joint venture with Philips. In 1993, the Philips relationship ended. In 2001, the semiconductor company was established, which ultimately became the Panasonic Semiconductor Business Division in 2014. It was in September of this year, 2020, when Panasonic finalized the transfer of their semiconductor business to Nuviton Corp and the Nuviton Technology Corporation Japan subsidiary was established and the Panasonic Semiconductor uh, unit was renamed as Nuviton. The scope of the bug with the Nuviton HDMI 2.1 chipset is with the pass-through of the 4K 120Hz HDR and 8K 60Hz HDR video signals. When signals of those resolutions and refresh rate combinations are presented to receivers with the Nuviton HDMI 2.1 chipset, the screen can go blank with no audio when connected to a display with 4K 120Hz support. Now, please note that these display modes are only available today from the latest gaming consoles and video graphics cards from Microsoft, Xbox, Sony, PlayStation, and NVIDIA. The general workaround is to connect the sources with these signals directly to the displays and connect the AV receiver to the display via eARC Ethernet audio return channel, which is an uncompressed audio signal. All 8K capable AV receivers released by Denon, Marantz, and Yamaha this year utilize the Nuviton HDMI 2.1 chipset that has this issue. For Denon, this is the flagship anniversary model, the AVR-A110 and the AVR-X6700H, X4700H, X3700H, X2700H, and the AVR-S960H. For Marantz, it is the SR8015, SR7015, SR6015, SR5015, and NR1711, which are impacted. And for Yamaha, their latest RXV6A and RXV4A releases. Sound United, who owns Denon and Marantz, released a statement that promotes the eARC workaround as well as a software setting that maintains picture and audio by disabling the 8K Enhance mode. RipeWave Audio's advice is not to panic. This is a narrow use case. First, the impacted modes are not widely supported. These displayed modes are currently only available on the latest gaming consoles and graphic cards. While the Xbox Series X shipping November 10th and PlayStation 5 available November 12th, hardware supports these impacted modes, you will also need games that renders these modes. It is our understanding that only a few 4K 120Hz HDR games will be available at initial launch with um, no specifics on 8K 60 HDR capable games. So you will need one of the new consoles or graphic cards, one of the few games that support these modes, an 8K TV to enjoy these modes. Injecting an AVR into the signal path at this point has marginal value, as these 2020 AVRs only support 
8K on one HDMI input. So if you want HDMI 2.1 switching, you are back to connecting the signal directly to the display anyways. Furthermore, RipeWave Audio sees no problem in using eARC to connect your AV receiver or processor separate. We can usually trust Sound United and Yamaha to deliver a fix, whether it be a software or hardware based solution. Chances are they will eventually deliver on the capability promised to those who had already purchased these models. Uh, word though is it may take a while for this one to be uh, resolved. However, once the fix is received, it is still a feature that has marginal value since there's only one H8K input present. Until processors have several HDMI 2.1 inputs, routing direct to these displays should be an acceptable, if not preferred, solution. The new Marantz, Denon, and Yamaha receivers are still worthwhile solutions for their um, other feature sets, so owners should not be too disappointed if they originally purchased for 8K capabilities. If you own an 8K capable receiver, I would be interested in hearing your feedback. Please include in the comments section, did you purchase for the 8K feature set? Are you disappointed by this chipset bug? If you are in the process of buying a new processor, is HDMI 2.1 8K uh, on your must-have list? That feedback would be useful to the RipeWave audio community. Furthermore, if you enjoyed this video and are interested in enhancing your audio experience, please like and subscribe to this RipeWave audio community and be sure to select the bell icon so you'll be notified as soon as the next video is posted. Until then, Keep evolving your audio experience.